Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of July 19th through the 25th. I was just heading out to the movies and I forgot, I'm like, oh, I still gotta do a video. So, um, the movie starts at like, uh, 5 o'clock so I gotta get this video done. So, let's make it a quick video. <laughs> I'm gonna be hitting the escape room and then I will, um, watch Black Widow. So, I'm gonna be having a great day. Hopefully everybody else is having a great day too. Uh, what wasn't great was when I received this pop uh, yesterday, all damaged and the stickers all mushed. Um, it might have been from the heat because in California it's like a, it was been like a, over 100 constantly. Uh, but yeah, he said the sticker was uh, not correct. And but when he just uh, when he sent it back, it was completely munched. He put like uh, heavy paper and instead of like fluffing it he just smashed it in there so um, the box was completely smashed but anyways um, how I handle a uh, return is super easy you just uh, click on the bottom when it says return uh, to report a problem uh, you give the guy the the buyer 50% back and normally I'll say 90% of the time the buyer is going to complain to eBay eBay is going to give him back his money, but they're not going to give him, uh, they're not going to take away, take the money away from you. So, um, yeah, that's how I handle returns, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> it happens. I'll resell it. I'll have to take a bunch off because it's pretty damaged. Anyways, enough of the nonsense. Let's get into what's sold. Let's go over here. All right. Uh, not the greatest week. Uh, hey, I don't want to do an offer right now. I'm busy. <laughs> uh, report for July 19th to the 25th. Uh, total sales are $1,685.93. 22% down from last week. So it was not a good week for me. Uh, my goal is to hit 2000 a week. And what are you going to do? I didn't hit it. <laughs> I was $300 short. Uh, net sales are $1,117.59. What happened was the weekend. The weekend was terrible. I only had 30 sales on the weekend. And I averaged uh, 60. So I was half on the weekend. I don't think I even hit like $500 on Saturday. and It was bad. <laughs> the weekend was terrible. Uh, but what are you going to do? Um, I have been listing a lot. You can see my active listings are... Uh, 3626 so I have been listing a bunch I'm gonna get that back up to 4,000 hopefully um, the sales of the last 31 days are 13.6% uh, down so I'm still trending downward I'm gonna start listing like the games and t-shirts and other things uh, plush has been slower right now I guess uh, a lot of people are going out and don't have they're are not playing with plush at home I guess <laughs> Um, all right, the first one that's sold, we'll get on to all the collectibles and different things, and we'll hit the plush at the end, just like always. Uh, Batman DC Dark Knight. I talked about this hat the last couple of weeks. Um, couldn't give this hat away. I thought it was an awesome hat, and now all of a sudden they're selling. I only have uh, two left now. Um, they are selling for sixteen ninety nine each, so I am super happy with it. I thought it was a cool hat, and... Uh, finally people are thinking about the same way I am <laughs> uh, this is uh, Dragon Ball Z I got this off the GameStop uh, clearance hall that I got or the when they closed down I got a 95% off it was a great deal and it sold for 2804 so very good on I love my action figures here's another action figure uh, Mighty my Marty <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Dino charge. I don't, I don't even see any dino other than it says dino on it. I, I don't know. They they go in dinosaur line. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm completely confused. But hey, it sold for twenty three seventy nine. Uh, Nintendo Splatoon Series three. Again, I got this off the the GameStop. Uh, Ninety five percent off uh, buyout. Uh, this sold for thirty three ninety nine. S completely uh, shocked. Because I have this plush and it didn't sell for nothing. Um, this little like, I don't know what that is. Squid? <laughs> Whatever it is, the, the plush was selling for uh, only like $12. 
But these figures are selling uh, pretty well. I don't know if they go in a... Uh, I don't know what they do. <laughs> but hey, uh, they sold for thirty three ninety nine. That was my last uh, set of three figures. Uh, so I'm glad to get them. So if you find any of these those figures cheaply, pick them up. Here's another hat. Uh, Endor, uh, home of the Ewoks. I believe this is uh, from... Ah, I forgot what movie it's from. I think it's the Han Solo movie. I'm not sure. Uh, but two have sold already for $18.69. So hats have been selling very well for me. If I can find a bulk lot of hats, I'll be super happy. Because I've been doing great with hats. Uh, Disney Pixar Toy Story 4. I got this off of Kohl's. Uh, Kohl's was having a huge clearance sale. This is one of the things that were having clearance. And of course... Um, they do the the thirty percent off of the clearance, and then you get uh, more Kohl's cash. So it was an amazing deal. So they, these came out super cheap, and you can see they have all the characters, like Buzz and there's Forky and I don't know. There's a ton of characters. I never watched the the last Toy Story four, so I don't know all those new characters, but I know Bo Peep and Forky just because it's popular. But anyways, um, this sold for. Fifty dollars and ninety nine cents, so sweet deal on that. A couple pops sold. Uh, this one was actually returned. I it just was returned to me. It just was uh, returned undeliverable. Uh, I wish I could speak. <laughs> uh, it was returned undeliverable, so um, gave the guy his money back. And this pop was only going for twenty bucks, and when I relisted it, it was going to for almost a forty-five fifty. So I listed it at fifty and took the percentage off. So I was super happy. I got double for it coming back. I wish I held on to the other uh, nine that I had. <laughs> Another Funko Pop that sold. This is weird. Uh, eBay charged the the buyer f over fifty dollars to ship it out of the country. Uh, usually they only charge like around twenty. Uh, 15 or 20 because it only cost me uh, 10 49 to ship out of the country but anyway I, I'll take the profit I mean it, they charged them over 50 uh, so that means uh, I got $40 for this figure so super excited about this uh, Funko Pops do great overseas so if you don't do anything else make sure you get your Funko Pops listed over um, either in pirate ship or GSP Uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. This is a Daedric helmet. Uh, wasn't selling these either. Um, they took a while to sell. But then all of a sudden, just they started selling. Four sold in those last two weeks. Uh, you never know. Some some things just take forever to sell. Then all of a sudden, people want them. See, it's a really cool um, helmet. Some guy asked me if they could put it, they could wear it. I'm like, oh, really? This little tiny <laughs> thing you can wear. But anyways, yeah, that's why you always put the little something measuring tape or measuring stick in there because some people are just crazy. <laughs> anyways, like I said, it sold for thirty three ninety nine, and I sold a bunch of them. I think I had a uh, ten or twelve at the beginning, and I have one left, so super happy with that. A uh, couple records have sold. Uh, these are from my bins haul. I'm concentrating on the movie right now. I'm not. <laughs> uh, my brain's out the way right now. Uh, this is from my Bins Hall Sleeping Beauty soundtrack. Uh, Disneyland Records. I sold this one and this one. So there was a few light scratches on this one, but no big deal. And they sold. This one sold for $16.99, and this one sold for $19.54. So great find on the records. I'm actually going to start looking up records from now on. Since um, those have done so well. I've talked about these in the past. These Elite Paddles for Xbox. If you can find these super inexpensively. Um, these are selling great and they sell really fast. I found another set that was buried in these bags. I still have bags from GameStop. I have a lot of GameStop still left. Uh, still starting uh, trying to go through it all. But hey, it's between the plush and the GameStop. I'm trying to go back and forth and list what I can uh, but uh, I don't know <laughs> anyways I found another set of these these sold for twenty one twenty four, and I've had uh, I sold one more of these these are sixteen fourteen. 
The, the black one sold super fast compared to the white ones. But yeah, if you can get these on clearance anywhere on Best Buy or GameStop for like a buck or two, pick them up. They'll sell really fast. Uh, this vintage Radio Shack I got at the bins again. It was just laying there. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll pick it up. I didn't think it was going to sell for much, but hey, when I got home, it it comped for almost $20. So Mine wasn't wasn't in great condition. You can see there's a lot of scuffs and marks on it. Um, let's see if I can show you a closer pick. If it wants to, it doesn't want to. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> uh, the computer was not wanting to. But yeah, you can see there's a lot of like scuffs and pick, uh, like scratches on it. But anyways, it sold for $16.99 and it weighed almost nothing. So I maybe paid like 50 cents for it, if that. Uh, Christmas ornaments. These I've had on my shelf for uh, about two years. Got these at GameStop uh, two years ago Christmas. I believe I paid 90 cents each. Uh, all of a sudden they started selling again and I was completely sold out. I've only sold two in like two years and then this last week I sold six. So, or last two weeks I've sold six. So that is, it's crazy when people just all of a sudden start buying your stuff for just out of the blue. Uh, Noni Kuni 2 Collector's Edition 3D Paper Craft. Um, this one I got, it was a huge, uh, like, collector's edition. It came with a plush, it came with the game. Um, it came with some moving, like, uh, art piece. And then it came with this paper craft, and it came with a book. I sold all those things individually, and I'm, I believe I made over $100 on it. I only paid $20, and the game alone I resold after I beat it. <laughs> I resold it for 20 so sometimes collector's editions can be great to find. Alright, on to the plush. We have a few plush that sold today. Oh, this week. Uh, this is Ty Beanie Boo's Kipper the Kangaroo. Um, this one out of the country, I believe the, they paid $25 or $27, something like that. And it cost me $10.49 to ship. And it's just a little Beanie Boo, so some people still want Beanie Boos. Um, as long as I have international shipping, you, you'll you be surprised on what uh, things will sell. Like this guy. <laughs> He's just a little Beanie Boo, and someone paid over $27 to get him to him. Uh, this is another one that someone paid over 20 something dollars for. Uh, this is a Christmas Gans Heritage Googles? Goggles? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> had this in my store for a few years you can see from the old nasty uh, ruler in the background um, yeah he was super fluffy and someone needed him I believe they were purchased him in the United Kingdom uh, it sold for eleven eighty one, but I, like I said it, it sold for over $25 because of shipping and uh, $10.50 out of that so I made a good like $16, $15, $16 out of it not counting fees of course uh, teddy bear white valentine's plush i've told you in the past never take down your holidays i've sold a bunch of uh valentine's plush and a bunch of christmas plush lately you see it has a little love heart and here's the date it says 2017 and these are highly collectible i see a lot of resellers just toss these out because they have a date on them heck I, when i started i used to toss them out too i'm like oh nobody's gonna want this with a date on it uh, but yeah they're they're Super collectible, and people do want them. Oops, clicked on it. Get out of there. And it sold for twenty-one twenty-four. Uh, Pick me pops, uh, pajama llama. I could not find any, any of these. <laughs> I mean, I found the pick me pops and stuff that were sealed, and some that were open, but not this this one uh, exactly. Uh, but it sold overnight. I guess I should have listed it higher. My mistake. Didn't think they would sell for that much because it's a pick me pop. I mean, they sell cheap. You can get a bunch of them for like fifteen dollars. You can get like three for like fifteen dollars. So I figured an open one wouldn't sell that much. I just listed it sixteen ninety nine and it sold overnight. It was just crazy. So if you find the Valentine's Day with a love and stuff, uh, maybe list it at twenty one bucks. Uh, Slumber Pals, this is a unicorn that holds onto a blanket. This one was missing the blanket. So it sat in my store for a couple of years. I didn't think it, it would ever sell because it's, like I said, it's missing the blanket. 
but um, it's super soft and there you go. It's American Kids hug Huggable Slumber Pal. It includes uh, the plush slumber and huggable character. The, the plush slumber was uh, the pillow type deal. Uh, and like I said, it does not have the blanket. Uh, but it sold for $25.49, so you crazy. <laughs> Super happy that I listed it and put it up there, even without the blanket. Uh, Shamu, I've been having problems with Shamu. I had so many Shamu at one time. I still do. I, I think I have a good 30 Shamu right now in my store. Um, this is the larger version. This is 22 inches long. Uh, you can see it just has a, like the curved tail on it. It's just a generic Shamu. But he sold for $25.49. Glad to get it out of my store. Um, now I, hopefully I can get rid of the rest of them. Because <laughs> I still have a ton of them. Uh, the Petting Zoo uh, Mermaid holding the lobster. Uh, all these Petting Zoo Mermaids do pretty well. See, it has its hair. I had to comb it a little bit. Not too bad. I like when they're braided like that because when they're braided, it's super easy. Not like the My Little Ponies. When the My Little Ponies get all matted, it's like a pain in the butt. And sometimes I just redonate them because a ton of the My Little Ponies are only worth like uh, twelve to fifteen dollars. And uh, the time it takes to get the like the softener in them and comb it out and brush it out, it, it's not worth it. So. My Little Ponies, I try to stay away from if their hair is completely messed up. But these are great, the petting zoo ones, especially when they hold like an animal. Um, this one sold for $18.69. Uh, Build-A-Bear plush lot. I believe I just got these out of the bins a couple weeks ago. Or, I'm not sure. Or one of those mystery boxes. Um, they're just cute little dogs. I didn't know what to do with them because they were just too small. And they were worth maybe 10 bucks a piece, so I just decided to lot them up, and they sold for 18.69. They had magnets on them, so I'm like, why not put them together? Because they they would connect to each other, so they kind of go together. And they sold within like two weeks of me listing them. Uh, a girl penguin retro. I didn't know how to describe this thing. <laughs> Look at its face. How do you describe that? And I just put retro plush. Animal black white. I, I wasn't the great descript, not the greatest description, but hey, it sold. It worked. <laughs> That's all it needs to do is work. Um, it sold for fourteen forty four. But yeah, I didn't know how to describe its fake face. It has like Pac Man eyes, and I know I couldn't put that in there. So, um, but yeah, it sold. It took about a couple months to sell, but happy it sold. Next one is a hippo. It's a purple. Floppy hippo. Uh, this one sold super fast. I uh, was kind of shocked. It's only a six inch hippo. I have other hippos that are much nicer. That um, There's even one that's a, a microwavable, one of those aroma therapy uh, plush. I have those and those haven't sold yet, but this one sold super fast within I think two days of me listing it and it's super small. Um, listed it for $15.29. And I didn't see any comps or anything, so I just figured for a 6-inch or 7-inch plush, um, that's what we would go for. Uh, Wild Republic uh, Rattlesnake. Um, this one was actually missing the... It's like... Here, let me show you. It has the rattle, but the, the tail isn't like wrapped up like it's supposed to, so it's not perfect. You can see there it's unwrapped. The, the rattlesnake normally, it's, it's like wrapped up with the... Uh, threads, but hey, it still rattles. It's still in great condition. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty huge rattlesnake, and it sold for sixteen ninety nine. Super easy to ship. You just put them in a ball, put them in the, the poly bag, and he's off. And I believe he only weighed like eight ounces, so super cheap. Uh, this one I just picked up from the out of the bins. Uh, this one sold for twenty two ninety four. It was. What is this guy's name? Jeff Gordon. I know I asked <laughs> when I was doing the the, um, the unbagging of the stuff that I got from the bins. Because uh, I had no idea. I don't know race car driving at all. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like Jeff Gordon. So Whatever. It sold for $22.94. And it sold within uh, about a month of me listing it. So super fast flip on that. This one was weird. I thought this was a terrible looking uh, dinosaur. 
Um, this is an Adventure Planet. Adventure Planet does sell pretty well, so maybe I did list it too low, but it wasn't the prettiest. Look at this. Look at this face. It's not the prettiest dinosaur in the world. So I didn't think um, it would sell super fast and for good money, but I guess I was wrong. Look, his mouth isn't even <laughs> in great shape. Um, but yeah, it sold within a few days of me listing it, so I probably listed it too low. Anyways, uh, it sold for $15.29. Uh, HYI Trolls Doll. Um, this one was a great find. I got this from when I won the 99 cent auction challenge. I purchased this from one of the sellers. Uh, the clothes was American Girl clothes that it had on. I sold the clothes, I believe, for $50. And this troll sold for $18.69. So, Make sure if it says American Girl on it, make sure you check the comps because some of those things can be very, very expensive. And people want them. They're very desirable. So the troll and um, the the clothes, I got around $70 almost. So super, super great deal. I think I only paid $12 or $15 because I was, uh, I was purchasing it from a, uh, one of the people that did the 99 cent auctions. Um, Ikea... Chadelec, uh, it's an Ikea plush. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Um, I bought a bunch of these. They were on a clearance at Ikea. Um, they had the Raptor, the the T-Rex. There was um, a Stegosaurus, I believe. And I know there's a cat and there's a panda. There was a huge amount of different uh, clearance plush. And so I bought a whole bunch of them. This was the first one of the T-Rex that sold. This one sold for $18.69. No, oh, second one that sold. Oh, whoops, my bad. So this is the second one that sold at $18.69. Um, but yeah, anytime you find Ikea plush, look it up. There's a lot of good ones out there. Even the small, I had like a little, I think it was a celery or some kind of vegetable. And that sold for like 20 bucks. And it was only like maybe like 6 inches, 5, 6 inches. So make sure you look up all the Ikea plush. Um, when you find it, you can tell the Ikea plus just by the tag. Let me show you the, the tag real fast. It's just, yeah, it, it's just a long tag. I don't have a clear view of the long. It's just a huge long tag. And almost all of them will say Ikea on it. So. Uh, Minecraft Overworld. I was talking about these, uh, um, I think a couple of weeks ago. I just picked these up and just listed them together because number one, this one didn't have a tag. And this one doesn't sell for much, so Enderman and the Creeper. I uh, just put them together. Decided, what the heck? Why not? Uh, the Creeper would have only gone for um, like ten dollars, and Enderman without the tag wouldn't have gone for much either. Um, so just listed them together, and I got sixteen ninety nine. Super fast within like a week. Another one that I had lotted together was these two Smurfs. Uh, almost just got rid of. Because I only had one, and then finally I found another one. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just list them together. And it worked out within a couple days of me listing it. Um, these Smurfs sold super fast. I mean, they're basically the same thing. Um, nothing special about the Smurfs. But someone was looking for a pair of Smurfs, and they got them for $14.44. $14 Last but not least, this is a huge, giant pink teddy bear. I don't know why I took the picture with his arm behind his back. <laughs> that is a terrible picture, but hey, it sold. I'm super happy about it. Um, this guy is 26 inches long, 23 inches wide. He is a monster bear, but um, I just rolled it up in the. I just rolled it up into the smallest thing. I think I got into a 12 by 12. <laughs> That's how small I got him. I tucked him in really, really tight. Uh, I had to actually sit on the bag to get it to fold over and tape it, and uh, I got them in. <laughs> I made it. Uh, so it didn't cost me, I think it cost me like $9 to ship. So it was super inexpensive because I, I completely smashed that bear. And I made, what, it was $50? Uh, yeah, it was $50. So, Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. I'm going to go to the movies. Yeah, get something to drink. Have some fun. Maybe eat some sandwiches. Or maybe Taco Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. 
All right, everybody. Take care. Bye.